What makes a real masculine man? There is so much stuff online these days. Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit and you name it, talking about toxic masculinity, about what does it mean to be a real man, a top G? What does the Bible say about true masculinity? I want to give you three things that will help you. First, a man, a true man of God, leads himself to Jesus. When God created Adam and Eve, he said to, to, to the man, that he was created in the image of God. Both man and woman are created in the image of God. But the man is supposed to look up to Jesus for everything in his life, not to his job, not to his body, not to his career, not to his income or his status. Number two, he's supposed to lead his wife to Jesus. The Bible is very clear that men are supposed to love their wives in the same way that Christ loved the church. And how did Christ love the church? He died. He gave everything up for her. You're supposed to lead your wife to Jesus, not to a great house, not to a perfect family, not to a, a car, a 2023 car. Those things may or may not come, but that's not the point. Now, you may not be married yet, but you're already looking at the at the woman of your dreams, at the, at the man of your dreams Remember that you're not there just to be with a cute guy or with a hot girl. You're supposed to lead that woman to Jesus. You're supposed to have an, a vertical view that she can follow. She's supposed to see Jesus in you, not in your stuff or your possessions or your status. And then lastly, you're supposed to lead your whole family, your whole church, your whole society to Jesus. It says in the Bible that God has equipped us to be a blessing to other people. That we're supposed to be, in Psalm 1, it says, a tree firmly planted by streams of water that will bear fruit and give shade in its season. And it's not just about you and your kingdom and your body and your watch. It's not just about you being an amazing artist or, or Christian leader or an amazing uh, man of God. We're supposed to do something with that, and that is to build the kingdom of God here on earth. And the way that we do that is through our families. First, your children. What is, who's going to be the best example to your children of what it is to be a biblical man of God? It's going to be you. What's going to be the best example to your daughter, to your son, of what is a, a woman, a biblical woman of God? It's going to be you as the wife, as the woman. We're supposed to build families so that we can represent Jesus to this lost and dying world. Remember that your ultimate purpose is Christ-likeness, to be a disciple of Jesus so that his name would be glorified and more people will believe. Your purpose as a family isn't to be the biggest church, to be the most happy family, to be the perfect couple. Your purpose as a family, as a unit, as a human being, as a man or a woman is to glorify Christ in everything you do. And that starts with you, with your husband and wife, and then with your family, and then, yes, your church, the people around you, the society around you, where you work. Are you being Jesus? Are you discipling the people at work towards Jesus? Are you making disciples of Christ at Starbucks online on Instagram? Or are you making it all about you and what your purpose is and how awesome you are and how amazing you are? The greatest gift that a man can give a woman is to lead her to Christ. There's nothing more beautiful than a woman is looking for than for a man of God who's looking up to Jesus for everything. Now, if you're not leading your wife or yourself or your family, your church, your ministry to Jesus, then what are you doing? And really, you're going to be looking to all these things on the earth to satisfy you, which they never do. A biblical man is one who looks up to Jesus for himself, for his wife, and for his family and church and society. If we do that, we're truly going to glorify Christ and more people are going to come to know him and have this whole earth be filled with Bible-believing Christians that are honoring God, glorifying Jesus so that we can change the promiscuity and the deranged and the, the horrible things that we see in this culture. The only way we're going to win this population and this world back to Jesus is you and me and couples and families and churches and societies and cultures and jobs becoming disciples of Christ. And it starts with you, it starts with me, being a biblical man of God in Jesus' name. If you'd like my coaching, make sure that you click on the bottom of the, of the link. Let me know how I can help you. Thanks again for being here and I will see you next time. Adios.